Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today's topic is different types of pharmaceutical dosage forms, you might have heard terms like tablets, capsules, or injections, but what do they really mean? And why are there so many different types? Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll be a pro at understanding how medicines are delivered to our bodies. Oral dosage forms, let's start with one of the most common types, oral dosage forms. These include tablets, capsules, and liquids. Oral medications are designed to be swallowed and absorbed through the digestive system. So, why different forms, tablets are solid forms, often coated, that break down in your stomach or intestines to release the active ingredients. Capsules, on the other hand, usually have a shell filled with powder or gel. Capsules can sometimes offer quicker absorption or protect sensitive ingredients from stomach acid. Liquid dosage forms, these include syrups, suspensions, and solutions. Liquid medicines are often easier to swallow and faster to absorb than solids, which is why they're a common choice for children or people who have difficulty swallowing pills. In solutions, the active ingredient is fully dissolved in liquid. Suspensions, however, have particles that need shaking before each dose, and syrups are often sweetened for better taste, especially for kids, solid dosage forms other than tablets, there are other solid dosage forms besides tablets and capsules. For example, lozenges and trochets are designed to dissolve slowly in the mouth, often used for throat or mouth conditions, powders are another option, often mixed with water or juice before consumption. And don't forget about orally dissolving strips. These thin films dissolve on your tongue, offering quick relief without the need for water. Injectable dosage forms, injections are typically used when a drug needs to act fast or can't be absorbed through the digestive system. They're divided into three main types, subcutaneous, intramuscular, and intravenous. Subcutaneous injections go just under the skin, intramuscular injections are delivered into the muscle, and intravenous injections go directly into the bloodstream for the fastest effect. Other dosage forms, topical medications like creams, gels, and patches are applied to the skin, where they are absorbed locally or systemically. Transdermal patches, for example, deliver drugs slowly over time, like nicotine or pain relief patches. Then we have inhalers, which deliver medicine directly to your lungs. These are vital for respiratory conditions like asthma, and don't forget about eye drops and ear drops. These are localized treatments designed to act where they're needed most. Why different forms? So why are there so many different types of dosage forms? The main reason is that different medications work better depending on how they're delivered. Some drugs are destroyed by stomach acid, so they need to be injected or inhaled. Others need to act fast, like pain relievers, so we use quick dissolving tablets or liquids. It's all about getting the right medicine to the right place, in the right amount of time. I hope this helped clarify the many ways medicines can be delivered to our bodies. Next time you take a pill, liquid, or injection, you'll know exactly why it's in that form. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more health and science content. See you next time.